What's up, guys? John here. Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. And this one is going to be birthday edition. <laughs> so um, Whose birthday is it? <laughs> my birthday is coming up here uh, in a couple days. so It's going to be 25. Yeah, I wish. I wish I could, <laughs> I could move back the hands of time to go back to 25. Um, actually, 40 is coming on. So at that point, you know, for me, it's just another day, another number. You know, as long as I'm feeling 25, right, mm -hmm. and hopefully looking almost looking. 25, yep. maybe 30, uh, <laughs> at that point, I think I'm going to be good, right? As long as I feel younger, I'm, I've got the energy, and I'm good to go, really, birthdays really don't matter to me. Yeah. Just another just another day, like I said, another milestone hitting 40. That's another big one, part of the 40 club. So, uh, you know, we thought it was uh, just, you know, a good idea to maybe talk about birthdays with couples. I yeah. mean, that's, that's a thing that happens for both sides, male and female, and uh, you might might you know celebrate in different ways. So, let's talk about some of the different ways that you guys can celebrate your birthday, especially during COVID and all this craziness. Yeah, it's tough. And still have a good time and, and uh, make it special, right? So, for birthdays, right? So, if you have a significant other, like your girlfriend, your fiance, husband, or boyfriend, or whatever it is. Um, you're usually going to celebrate your birthday with them. Mm -hmm. Now, you got family, and family, let's say they're in town, right? So you want to celebrate with your family on one end, and then maybe celebrate with your partner on a different you know, time or like later that night or whatever it is. Or friends. Yeah, or friends. Yeah. You can do friends too, of as course. far as that goes. Friends and, 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 and uh, your significant other. But I think it's really, really cool like we can separate both mm -hmm. because, you know, family is like, you know, you have everybody over there, a you're having a good intimate. time. Yeah, it's a little bit more personal as far as that goes. You're, you're celebrating with your family. They're getting to see that day and, and celebrate with you. And then with your partner. So with your partner, it could be a whole different experience. Mm -hmm. You guys can go out to a romantic dinner. I mean, this kind of falls in line with almost all the romantic things you guys can do. Mm -hmm. uh, but you guys can celebrate in different ways. Like you guys can go do something maybe you've never done before. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a different one. And you know, with COVID out there, I mean, you guys can do a lot of different things here in the state of Florida, maybe not in the different states, but definitely something here. So do something you've never done before. That's yeah, one, that'd right? That'd be fun. I mean, do something fun, you yeah. know, with your time. Cause yeah. you know, everything's so serious all the time with me and John. So, so serious. we try to do something on the off times or if we ever get a chance to be like, oh my gosh, this is a time to do something fun. <laughs> just for a reason, you know, just do something fun, you know, together. Take advantage of the time. Uh, you know, tomorrow is not promised. So at that point, sure. you know, when you're having a birthday, this should be memories and different things that you went through in your past. You should think about this, like how you've come to this point in your life. You know, what have you experienced? Good, bad, that's made you the person you are today. Mm -hmm. And then what changes do you want to put forward? That's another thing that I think about on my birthday. Like, all right, I've done this, you know, my lifetime. You know, is there any other things that I want to accomplish uh, or I want to improve on in my life, you know, going forward? Because I don't know how much time I have. So at that point, I want to just knock out as much as possible before that old Grim Reaper comes a calling and come a knocking for me. Yeah, don't don't uh don't forget about your significant other's birthday either. I feel like that's happened to quite a few different people. Really? Yes. I've had a lot of people where they just kind of forgot about it. And I don't know if it's just because after so many birthdays, some people, like for me personally, I make John's birthday like a big thing every year, right? It's usually a thing. You know, we have like a big dinner and it's like, it's, it's a thing. And everybody knows every year, that's what we do, right? Now on my birthday every year, I'm out of here, yeah. okay? I'm around, I don't want to be around anyone. I don't want to have any big celebrations. I literally just want to fly to an island and I don't want to talk to anyone for the whole day. That's like my birthday gift. So, you know, everybody just celebrates differently, you know? But I think there's been a few friends of mine, if you can believe that or not, but literally their significant other just forgot about their birthday just because they didn't talk about it all the way leading up to. You know, someone like, uh, for instance, my mom, She her birthday is the day after mine but she celebrates it every day in July. So every day in July, you hear, oh, it's my birthday. I'm like, no, it's not. Fourth of July, it's my birthday. I'm like, no, it's not. <sighs> Tenth of July, it's my birthday. No, it's not. <laughs> so, you know, it's uh, it's everybody celebrates it a little bit differently. Not a birthday, but a birthday month. <laughs> okay? It's kind of crazy. And yeah. if you're forgetting about your significant other's birthday, you got an issue. Because, you know, you got Facebook on there. It usually has their birthdays. You can't find <laughs> That's it. That's right. So you should get a reminder at least, like, hey, listen, a birthday's coming up. Or look, 
I mean, you should definitely be able to know when your significant other's birthday is. <laughs> There's some things that you don't want to forget when you're in a relationship. Yeah. That's your anniversary and your birthday. birthday. Yeah. For sure, 100%. <laughs> Those are two really, really important days, um, you know, especially to females. So if you're a guy, don't forget about it. Remember it. Put it in your phone. I mean, there's so much technology nowadays <laughs> that's going to remind you when somebody's birthday is coming up. Yep. So if you don't have Facebook or you don't want to look at Facebook, you should know your, your girlfriend or your significant other's birthday. Mm -hmm. Put it in your phone and have a reminder on there. And that way you know, listen, their birthday is coming up. You better get prepared. Either, you know, get the dinner ready. <laughs> go card. Out and get the card. Go out and look for a gift of some sort. You know, at that point, get something special for him. And it doesn't have to cost a lot of money either. Mm -hmm. You know, it was really cool. Like, Sharice has gotten some stuff over the years where it's been, like, collages of pictures mm -hmm. of us and memories over these different years. And that's cool. That's very sentimental. That gets you thinking about all the good times you had back in the day. You know, and you look forward to the future at that point. You're like, I can't wait to make more great memories like this. Mm -hmm. So it's it's really key, I think, having those things. It's not, you know, it's, it doesn't have to be materialistic. It doesn't have to be like Gucci or Louis or anything like well, that. Well, I but, mean, when it comes to this, right? So we've been together forever. Yeah. Right? And then, you know, he he has everything. So what, what do you get somebody that has everything? It's a, I mean, I think I've been asked I, that question I'll every what, single day this week. I'll tell you what, I, I got a good one. I got a good <laughs> tell response. Tell me, tell me, everybody take notes. So this weekend it was really good. Like we were there with some friends and stuff like that. And like, man, I don't know what you, I'm going to get you, John, right? And oh, this is good. It's a couple. Yeah. And at that point it's, it's Big J the barber and his girl, his wife. Um, and she's like, oh, I got a good idea. I'm going to get you um, gift certificates for haircuts for Jay. <laughs> that was so smart. And that's why I get my haircut through. So at that point I'm like, oh, that was a good one because – that's never going to go out of style. I'm always going to utilize that. Like there's certain things like you wouldn't you, you wouldn't even think about cuz there's like there's so little, right? Yeah. And so minute and you know just use them day in and day out or could use something day in and day out like that. Yeah. Um you know it's it could be something so minute. So don't always think about the biggest thing or the baddest gift you can get somebody. Think about something they could really utilize every day or True. you know in the month. I mean even massages and stuff like that. Like mm -hmm. if you get gift certificates for people to get massage, that's a good one. It's a stress reliever. Somebody can always utilize something like that. It's mm -hmm. always going to be good for them. You know, it's just certain things like health. So tight medical center. If you're in the area, you get a gift certificate. <laughs> We've had people do that too. So like, listen, yeah. my mom's my mom's birthday's coming up. She's a patient today. there, right? Today. I want to get her a gift certificate for you guys. How Super do I purchase cool. it? So it was really cool, like stuff like that. Like, you know, there's certain things that do not ever go out of style mm -hmm. and that you can always utilize, you know, and then just look at some of the different things, I guess, like what they're they're doing or what they're a part of or a hobby or something like that. Mm -hmm. This again, you could look at their Facebook page or Instagram page and you're pretty much going to know what somebody's into because they usually post about it or you should be listening to your partner. <laughs> listen. <laughs> and if you listen and you retain... You're going to have a whole bunch of good ideas, hopefully. Yeah. Like, you know, you just know so much about your partner. You're like, all right, and like, they're going to love this for sure, hands down. It's like no guessing, like, are they going to like this? They're Maybe, not. Maybe, I Maybe, think. Maybe, you know, like, there's always some gifts that are just going to be home runs, right? Um, but for different people, if you give them that, that, like, really niche gift, they're really going to remember it. You got to, you know, just be, be careful. Definitely listen to your partner, but don't, yeah. but you got to make sure you're using common sense. I'll even use an example. So there was somebody that got a cake. Well, it was my birthday. Right. And I said, I didn't like chocolate. Right. I never said I didn't like, like vanilla cupcakes or vanilla cake or vanilla, <laughs> vanilla period. Uh -huh. Cause it's not just chocolate. Uh -huh. So they literally, they put like these three baked potatoes together and put a candle in the middle of the baked potatoes and was like happy birthday and i'm like <laughs> <What>? <laughs> this is so weird is crazy. <laughs> so like i mean let's be realistic about some of the things you guys are doing and don't go too far out there because sometimes when you go too far out there it might not be like really cool it might just be like use common sense <laughs> use common sense common sure. sense not everybody has it but you know not everybody has it think but, about it you know think about just it think about and, it you know, maybe even ask a friend, like, do you, th friend. do you think that this could be good? <laughs> ask Jeeves. <laughs> ask and somebody. They'll literally give you a good answer. I mean, another thing that you guys can do is, is you guys can always Google, right? And Google, like, yeah. best gifts um, for women age 40 or whatever it is. You can even go on Amazon. Amazon has these different categories you can look oh, up. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, so good to know. I was actually doing this with my niece because she's young. And I'm like, I don't know what 
like young like five year old or six year old girls are into these days. Like that's not my department. Like mm-hmm. I'm a I'm a guy. I grew up as a boy. Obviously, <laughs> I'm gonna stay a boy. Um, I know what I can get my son. What would probably be cool with him, but my niece. Like I'm thinking, like you know, plush unicorns, like Barbie? you know, Barbies, yeah. and like all this different stuff. But like you know, come to you know, find out she's like into like the little play sets and like all these different things. Mm. And you you literally look up these categories, and it gives you all different types of varieties of different gifts at different price points. And that's another way you can do it too. So if your significant other isn't by you and you need to send them a gift. There's a good way to do it. Mm-hmm. Amazon, I know everybody wants to buy local and stuff like that, but Amazon delivers everywhere in the world pretty much. Yeah, just so you guys can look for it. Don't probably. order it this week with all the storms. Yes, <laughs> the storms are a bad, bad thing going on. But you guys can find these different ideas out there mm-hmm. by just looking online. It's real simple and real easy. So if you're like, I just don't know what to get her or get them, look at these different categories. Look at And then look at the reviews. Whatever you're gonna buy, make oh, yeah. sure you're looking through the reviews, and Truth. they might not all be good. You know, you can't please everybody, but if the majority of them are good, mm-hmm. then you guys can always look into doing that. You know, for sure, that's, that's always great. a good one. I mean, even for me, I like I love like shoes or you know some comfortable Nike shoes. clothes or yeah. and stuff like that. I would that. never be able to get him shoes or Nike clothes because <laughs> I just he has enough of them. <laughs> Don't give me any more shoes. I have to I have to get really creative, you know. And after I I guess after so many years it's kinda like, you know, you you get to a point where it's like, what's a present? You know, right. what's a present? And then you gotta then you gotta plan a day or something. Yeah. You know, do something cool, go yeah. somewhere cool, do something so that it's a memory, not even a present, you know? So just, you know, there's many ways to celebrate birthdays and make it, you know. Don't become special. complacent, okay? So Want to finish up on that point right there. Don't become complacent. If you're in a relationship, if you're starting a new relationship, you should definitely not be complacent. Make sure you go above and beyond for your significant other's birthday. Mm-hmm. I think that's the biggest point in, in everything. Make sure you make it a day or a night to remember. Outfits. They okay? never go out of style, guys. Definitely. You females, <laughs> listen up. Take notes. Pigtails, too. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> anyway, so, guys, this has been another Cupid's Corner birthday edition we want to thank you guys for tuning in week in and week out. We're getting you guys' feedback. We love it. Thank you. Continue to support us, and we'll keep giving you guys this great information, tips, and tricks to ignite or to boost that relationship you guys are in. All right, guys. I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're signing off. We'll see you next Sunday. Keep us corner. Happy birthday, Daddy Boo.